Probably one year ago, if you told me that the next marathon I'd be training for, I'd be going for sub three, I would not have believed you. Hello, I'm Nick and this is my very first YouTube video about running. It's October 2023 and this time in 12 months I want to be, be able to say I have run my first sub 3 hour marathon. There's three reasons why I've decided to start a running channel. Number one, I wanted to document this experience. So 12 months is a long time and um, you know it's going to take a lot of hard work like any marathon so I thought it'd be kind of cool to, uh, to document that experience you know the highs and lows, what it, what it hopefully will take to, to run a sub three marathon. Number two, um, I just also thought it's a good way to, to be accountable to myself. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm actually sh shouting out about what I'm doing, then um, I'm much more likely to actually follow through and, and achieve these things. So, and then number three, and this is probably a bit of a bonus one, to be honest, uh, this experience, I'd like to share it with people because I've had a, an amazing sort of last 12 months or so uh, to lead me to this point and you know I'd just like to share the journey and um, you know there might be a few tips that people can pick up along the way so uh, so yeah wish me luck. I started running back in 2010 uh, when a friend of mine from uni, Charlie, he wanted to do a half marathon in my in his hometown of Nottingham. I had no idea really how I'd do and I really surprised myself. I managed uh, one hour 37.54. Little did I know then it would take me 10 years to even just knock a few seconds off that time. Yeah, so that was my first one. Absolutely loved it and definitely gave me the bug. I then did a few more half marathons each year and then decided in 2013 I have a go at my first marathon. Unfortunately, I collapsed just before mile 18 from dehydration, heat exhaustion, and, and obviously didn't finish. So more, probably more about that at another time, but really put me off running and lost my motivation after that for a bit. When I decided two years later that I wanted to give it another go. So London Marathon 2015, run it for St John Ambulance who in my eyes saved my life that day. Finish, finish, that was the, the, the aim. And I was lucky enough to finish it actually with my neighbour. And uh, yeah, we did it in 4.09. In 2016, a big moment for me, decided to join a running club, Fairlands Valley Spartans. I'm based in Letchworth in Hertfordshire and, and they're in uh, St Stevenage. That really helped motivate me with my running. That's the first time I really started running regularly, sort of three to four times a week. April 2017, did my second marathon, managed a marathon. Goal was sub 3.45. Uh, didn't quite manage it. Went up a curb about 22 miles, I think. Got cramp in one leg. Managed to recover. And then, lo and behold, got cramp in the other leg. Running with my brother in Northwest that day. Great being able to run with someone that whole way, pretty much. And I finished in, in 3.47. Then, uh, same year actually, finally improved on that half marathon. BB only by four seconds to one hour 50 at the Stevens half marathon. Then uh, 2018, was actually, I collapsed again at Derby Half Marathon in June 2018. And there was a, a doctor running that day. Um, and they told me about it afterwards. That I don't think I was breathing. Uh, again, really hot day. Just don't really remember what happened, but collapsed at about 10 miles from the heat. And uh, that made me really reassess after that, like, you know, should I still be doing this? Is it safe? So got checked out, 
through my local NHS discovered that actually in all likelihood I've got a gene which means I don't sweat properly and that means my body doesn't self-regulate as it perhaps should and as a result it means I just need to be really careful in hot weather. With that in mind I took it easy in the summer and most summers to be honest. Did the Great North Run, my first run back in that uh, 2018 uh, so uh, five years ago now and just yeah really tried to enjoy it didn't race it then I was like right let's have another go at sub 345 so I did the great Welsh marathon I think it's April 2019 and uh, stuck with a pacer all the way around uh, just to give you an idea what that means it's 8.30 uh, per mile I run in miles but I'll put in the K's so you, for those of you that run in K's know what that means about 3 miles to go felt brilliant and so I just pushed on and finished in 3 hours 43 minutes in 2020, well end of 2019 I started training for an ultra been with my partner Georgie and we both decided probably a trailie hilly marathon was enough uh, so we opted for uh, endurance life Sussex coastal marathon did that in I think it was February 2020 one of the last marathons before Covid hit uh, we just got round, I think it was about six hours something. It was bloody hard. And then after that, see lockdown, lost a lot of my motivation for running to be honest. Uh, you know, being part of a running club that's always been a real kind of motivator for me to get out. And then when the races come back, I was like, yeah, let's let's get back into this now. And that takes me to 2022 and this is the year that things really changed for me so signed up for Stafford Half Marathon in March 2022 so I've been trying for years to try and make 135 in the half marathon and I just couldn't do it but at Stafford that changed I had a brilliant race 134 pretty much flat you know what you're like after you've had a great race it's like what's next I was on a runner's high actually felt a bit like this horse in the place that we were staying and I think it was the very next day I decided to book a marathon so it's Yorkshire Marathon 2022 in October and I chose October because I knew it wouldn't be hot went on a plan and for the first time ever started run, running sort of five to six days a week doing strength tech training and starting off I thought 3.30 might be possible but as time went on my coach Susie who's amazing uh, persuaded me to give 3.15 a go which to be honest was really scary but the training went really well as I say running more than I'd ever run before and just feeling really good so went for it the race went really well ran with one of my club mates John until about halfway when he started to struggle with an injury and started running with a uh, a guy called Adrian from North Hearts Road. We just were ticking off the miles. I felt so good. And then, lo and behold, I got cramp again. I think it was about 21 miles. And I yeah, had to stop. I got going again, but it was tough. And then, uh, yeah, started to fall off the pace for 3.15 obviously and then 
got cramp again a couple of miles later maybe like 23 24 miles i think and uh just at that point it was getting to the finish so in the end finished in 321 52 something like that all i can remember is three two one and see a massive pb even at that point so basically one year ago if you told me that the next marathon i'd be training for i'll be going for sub three i would not have believed you no and i'll talk to you a little bit about what's happened in the past year before we look forward to what's to come. So 2023, it has been an incredible year for me so far. So after completing the marathon, I did the Cambridge Half Marathon in March 2023. And I absolutely smashed my PB, so taking four, four minutes off the time. I did one 27.16, I think. And really, I think at that point, it was the first time I thought, yeah, maybe I can give this sub three a go. Uh, and then from there, I've just continued um, to, to run quicker times. I did um, quite soon after that, I did a 10K in St Albans in Hertfordshire, so another local race to me. I think I was 41 minutes down to 38 minutes 10. Uh, a few weeks after that, I did a um, 5k race around our local uh, Ridlands running track in, in Stevenage, our local one for, for Fairlands Valley Spartans Running Club and uh, that was a massive PB again for me. Uh, more recently I've done the uh, Hatfield 5k uh, and managed in, in my last race to do another 5k P, PB of 17.26 and honestly I cannot believe I'm saying these times. That same race that I did one year ago I did it in 1907 and at the time that was also a PB so to be running these times it's been um, yeah just unbelievable to be honest um, but it's given me um, the confidence now to go okay 3 hours 21 it's a big step up um, to go sub 3 from there but that's why I'm giving myself this time so instead of trying to do a marathon um, you know in the next few months or in the spring um, I've said a little bit about um, I've struggled with heat. I don't want to risk that kind of hot weather on marathon day. So I'm giving myself the full year to really train, build up the miles, build up my strength and core. You'll see I've got some uh, gym equipment behind me. Elephant in the room, don't use it very much. Have brought in a bit of strength, but that's something definitely I want to do more and I'll, and I'll document on this channel. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. In terms of what's to come, um, I've got a 10k race, another local one, standalone 10k. In a week's time, I'll do another video, just a bit of a race vlog of that experience. Hopefully, maybe I'll get another PB there, we'll see. Um, and then I'll be just taking it week by week from there, showing you kind of what I'm doing in training. We've got cross country coming up in the winter season, so I'll be um, giving a few of those a go. And coming into to next year, I've got another Cambridge Half Marathon in March, so I'm going to try and lower that that PB um, a bit further um, in March and then build through into the summer proper then training block um, through to a, an October marathon in, in 2024 when the sub dream, fingers crossed, can be realised. Haven't decided where I'm going to do that yet so if you've got any thoughts in terms of you know where that might be, thought about Chester, uh, Chester Marathon as a possibility but if you've got any ideas in the UK then um, yeah, put them in the comments below. I know there's some great ones aboard as well. So yeah, any any recommendations, let me know. And also just share with me as well. It'd be lo lovely to, to hear, um, you know, what your racing goals are. You know, what are you aiming for over the next 12 months? So um, yeah, put that in the comments below. Um, I'd love to see it. Uh, finally, um, yeah, please, you know, if, if you're interested in this and want to join the journey, then please subscribe to the channel, NRG Runs. Yes, NRG are my initials, in case you're wondering. I had to pick that one. Um, and follow me on Instagram as well. And hopefully see you soon. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back next week. Cheers.